Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy, and this is my Daisy Nitrado private server on PC. Um, and I wanted to do just a just a quick video about what I've been doing on the private server on PC, and to reassure people, you know, I'm not moving away from Daisy console on the PlayStation or the Xbox, or even when the new consoles come out um, at Christmas. I'm still not sure whether we're going to be going Xbox or PlayStation, but we'll have to go. But I thought I've got a few kind of interesting things. So the first thing we'll do is that obviously now we've got the daisy pc private server so if you if you fancy a pve environment and you're on daisy pc you know join the discord i'll put the links in the description down below um, pay two bucks a month or five pounds if you join the, the the youtube um channel and you can have access to player versus environment stuff but i just want to kind of i want to start off with show, show you what you can easily easily do with um pc servers so we're going to respawn in and you'll see the fact that because we have access to something called the init.c file on um, on PC, you can actually do something like this, which you'll see in a second when I spawn back in. Here we go. So let me just remember how to... Let's go to third person. Now you see, wait a minute, you're a fresh spawn. You, you, you seem to have a bag on your back. I do have a bag on my back. And let's look at what else I've got. <laughs> oh, we've got a canteen. We've got a uh, rather nice, uh, there's an M4 there as well. There's an M4 coupled mag, which we can put on. We've got a nice scope for the M4. Um, what else have we got here? We've got a battery for the scope that we'll put on there. Slide down a bit. Then we've got a oh, got a suppressor. We've got a uh, stock, if I can put it in the right place. Come on, how do we put it up there? I'm still I'm still getting to learn. There we go. And then we've got a handrail, which I think goes. Where does the handrail go? Does it go there? Right. You go there right yeah there we go the hand guard and so we've got a an m4 with a suppressor with a double mag and what, what else we've we got over here we've got sewing kit we've got food we've got some duct tape we've got that obviously we've got a nice black uh dry bag and um, we've got a combat knife in fact what we can do as well is if we, if we kind of select these we can say that's number one we've got an axe that's number two our knife can be number three our bandages can be number four so because we've got access to init.c we can do this we can um, have whatever loadout we want to well i can have whatever loadout on the people who spawn in to the map uh, um, that i like so in this case i've just been playing around you know and throwing probably a little bit too much because you could argue that this sort of loadout kind of breaks the daisy experience a little bit doesn't it the fact that you know we're basically we're basically um fully kitted up um ready ready to go um but you can kind of start to see the possibilities of things like um um deathmatch servers you know because one of the things i struggled with for hours and i probably spent probably at least 20 hours trying to create a deathmatch server on the prison island with the idea that you would spawn in and there would be bags around with weapons in you could then pick up and you could start fighting and it was a right nightmare trying to consistently get stuff to get stuff to spawn in um however it's so easy that all i've got to do now is if i want to do that on pc i can simply um I can simply change the loadout, and you can even have random loadouts. So you might start with M4, you might start with an with an AK, you might start with a sniper, something like that. Re really, really easy uh, that way. So that's very exciting. Also on this server, what um, I've done is I've put the um, console mods for Chernus on there as well. So we've got things like you know the books are on here, the sword, uh, the coloured weapon variants, you know weapons. Everything spawns in, not damaged. Weapons spawn in. Um, with mags, mags spawn in full of bullets. Funnily enough, not the mag weapon that you get in your backpack. That that doesn't spawn in with stuff on it, but everything else, uh, everything else does. And you know, Ada's spawn in with wheels. All all that cool stuff. Um, and so uh, it's it's exciting, and I'm starting to get to know kind of the keyboard controls. You know how you can how you control your character. Um, oh, not with that button. You don't. There we go. Look at that. Fabulous. 
And the other cool thing that I want to talk about is the fact that I'm not playing this on a hottie gaming PC. In fact, if we go into the options and you look at the video, we've got, you know, scene complexity, extreme, 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 texture, high, extreme, extreme, high. You know, we're playing this on very, very high settings on my crappy old laptop. And the reason why that you can I, I can do that is because I'm playing this through GeForce now. And I'm even playing this on a wireless connection as well, which is definitely not recommended. But I think it's kind of okay in a PvE environment. Um, my old laptop, which must... This laptop is... I say my old laptop, it's the only laptop I've got, which is easily five years old. You know, it, it could never play games when I first got it. You know, it was okay for things like rendering video and stuff, but it didn't have any dedicated graphics. But with GeForce now... Um, you know, you you can play. I mean, it looks it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm capturing this using my old AGP LGP um, light um, USB video card, which can only capture at 720p, and I think it's capturing at 30 frames a second, not 60. So it won't look that brilliant on uh, YouTube. Probably look a little bit muddy as well. But when you're actually playing this, you know, this looks significantly better than the um, than the console one. Um, let's put that away. Let's take that to... I should have put it in my hand, shouldn't I? Let's take that. And uh, I'm pretty sure we've got some chlorine tablets. We can purify that water. Um, yeah, and it all looks very, very nice indeed. So obviously the gameplay in terms of what you're actually doing is the same as on the console, you know, and on... Um, Oh, how do I how do I get up? I can't quite remember how you get up. Is it spacebar? Oh, uh, see, I don't know. Oh, right, there we go. We got up there. C is it C to crouch? It is, isn't it? Um, but what this means really, as long as you've got oh a potato, <laughs> a screwdriver, as long as you've got even a fairly basic broadband internet connection, because trust me, where we are, we have a really basic broadband inter internet connection. Um, there we go, look at that, that looks pretty good doesn't it, um, you can, I think you can still try, oh god, we, oh, I've already got binoculars haven't I, I think you can still try, ooh, I've got stuck, I think you can still try GeForce now for free, if not it's going to be sort of £5 a month I think when it comes out, um, and then it basically with the GeForce Now service what, what it's doing is allowing you to hire an, a, a server, a computer off NVIDIA, which you can then play um, you, lots of your Steam games on, and Daisy is one of the ones that you, you can play. Um, and then it just connects over the internet, excuse me, and then you, you just play over the internet. So if you were thinking about, you know, you're enjoying Daisy on console, but you really want to try out PC Daisy, then GeForce Now is a great way of doing it because you buy the Daisy on Steam and then GeForce now connects up with your Steam account, and then then you play, you play through that. Um, I don't know how to I don't know how to visually zoom in yet either. Um, and so so that's pretty cool. And you, you definitely get you know you get a better visual visual fidelity um, than you do do on the console. Um, and then we're also going to get access to um, mods above and beyond um, what we do on the console. Now I'm not quite. From doing quite a bit of research today, I think on console, by modding the XML files and changing the loot table, um, that is prob. I think that's ninety percent of really what you want to be doing in 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 Daisy. And that, well, I'd say it's probably eighty percent, and then the other fifteen percent is uh, being able to change your loadout. So that when you spawn in, you can spawn in with some some cool stuff, and then I would say probably you know only the, the last sort of five percent is the other mods that you can get, which kind of change Daisy, um, so just so you can have things like trading posts, and you can have things like uh, stop people being able to break um, into your bases from the outside. I mean, the stuff like that's um, stuff like that's pretty cool. Um, but I think we've got a lot of it on, on, on console, so you know I won't be doing that much, but I will be investigating how to do it um, on the Nitrado private servers and then doing some um, tutorials on that. So, you know, if you were thinking about giving it a go, don't think 
that you need to have you know a high-end gaming PC you don't this is a crappy old laptop and I'm playing PC Daisy it's a big learning curve with the <laughs> keyboard and mouse and one of the reasons why I wanted to do this was because I wanted to get better with key get get better with keyboard and mouse so that I could do some armor um, content as well without kind of dying all the time which I tend to do uh, in armor all the time oh yeah I also I think I've got have I got uh, okay how do we how do we look at this oh there we go there's my lovely compass <laughs> so yeah so look there'll, there'll be a little bit more um daisy pc private server kind of content probably over over the next few weeks as I kind of explore this a lot more and explore how we can take the mystery and the complexity out of modding um, uh, PC Nitrado servers because when you when you start looking up things like how to mod a PC server it is horrendous you know trying to track down how you do it and stuff that's you know still working stuff that's in day you know people haven't done many step-by-step -step guides or they're hidden away in reddit or Git github and um and places like that um and, uh, and i think it would probably help a lot of people if i could uh, kind of simplify things um, because i find i find it much easier to to understand things if i if i simplify them for myself uh, uh, well uh, as 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 well so there we go um don't worry the fact that i'm giving up on console i'm definitely not doing that because for me as well capturing uh footage and gameplay is much much easier on the PlayStation um, and in fact the Xbox than it is on the um, what, what button is it to all right then then on the PC because we probably you probably had quite a few noise issues and audio issues on this particular uh, video but I just wanted to kind of keep you up to date on what I'm doing the fact that I'm, I'm quite excited the fact that I'm going to be able to produce XML packs for things like Northwest Airfield team deathmatch um, sort of uh, games or you know prison island uh, deathmatch games that sort of stuff that people can download for their pc ones oh yeah because i just wanted to add as well is that within geforce now when you fire up daisy if you've got mods if you sub if you're subscribed to mods in the steam workshop which is kind of the way that you put mods in it, it loads them up as well so you can play with them um, steam workshop mods which is pretty exciting as well so i'll be testing those right so there we go that's kind of um should we test out this gun? Oh, the good old M4. Look, I've still got 50 bullets left. Fantastic. I'm a first person master. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Uh, put your questions and comments down below. You know, if you've got any questions about Daisy on PC, GeForce Now, you know, modding, all that sort of, sort of stuff. And if I can't answer them in the comments, sometimes this sort of stuff um, gives me ideas to, uh, to sort of create other videos myself um, so I can, uh, you know, put those answers out for everybody. But there we go. So if you've enjoyed the video, you know, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Uh, thank you very much. And of course, I'll see you all again soon.